On the topic of opioids, a medical breakthrough could mean safer, more effective treatment for millions of people who suffer from chronic pain. Scientists found in the oddest of places, the ocean. As Heather Simonson explains in our Insight Report, that's good news for a Cottonwood Heights man. This is what keep, keeps me going. <laughs> Samson Akinleye. And this is in addition to, like, treatments. Used to play intramural soccer at USU. Now he can't work or attend school. It's impossible to bend all his fingers or lift more than three pounds. The pain is so bad, he's considered amputation. Your life just changed. Tendon surgery in 2014 to repair a work injury left him with complications. He has complex regional pain syndrome, or CRPS, a chronic condition caused by damage to the peripheral and central nervous systems. Uh, so bad, so bad. Caitlin works full time as a cosmetologist to support the couple, but it's hard for her to see Samson suffer. Oh yeah, sorry. Not being able to, to wash your own back or put your, tie your own shoes. Their lives are limited by the pain and medication, which include opioids. If we can get rid of these, oh, like yeah. that is, that, that's ideal. Scientists at the University of Utah say a better solution may lie in this tank. The big guy in the sand here, we named him after the lounge singer Don Ho from Hawaii, but we go, call him Donnie for short. They're called conus or cone snails, and they've been collected for centuries because of the beauty of their shells but what we found is they're also beautiful on the inside as well. The same components the snail uses in its venom to capture fish can stop pain. We purify those components, study them individually, chemically synthesize them. It's working in lab rats with no known side effects and is non-addictive, unlike opioids. And studies indicate if the compound is given at the time of injury, it helps nerves regenerate, preventing chronic pain. The longer we give the compound, the better the animals do in terms of pain. So there seems to be this disease modifying or restorative property. The cone snails are found in tropical reefs, mostly in the Indo-Pacific. A team of divers in the Philippines found these snails for scientists here at the U. They believe the compound acts on the nicotinic receptor in the immune cells, which can go awry and damage nerves. Samson would like to be a part of the clinical trials and remains hopeful about the future. I have a good life with my family, with my partner, and yeah he says he's not giving up it's not easy but i'm getting there and believes life won't always be this hard with fates all things are possible heather simonson ksl5 news heather thank you the compound is an injection similar to insulin given to diabetics scientists expect clinical trials will begin within the next two years the secret is in the snails who knew? That is so hopeful. Wow, I hope that uh, can work out. Yeah. For some